Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. This is going to be a compilation of places that I've eaten in the past month or two. And this is just because you guys know I haven't been vlogging regularly. So I did vlog a lot of the food that I was eating and places that I would go. So I thought I would just go ahead and show you guys. So I had omakase at the sushi place when I got back from Hawaii. And I did really like it, but I feel like because I was in Hawaii, I had a lot of poke and really fresh fish. And this just ended up tasting a little bit too fishy for me, but I did really enjoy the salmon. So this was just a salmon salad. They had a few dishes that I think was a really good price for the omakase. I believe it was about $100 or could have been like 80 or something like that. But I think the pricing was pretty good for the amount of food that I got. So I just went ahead and added some of the names on the screen. I don't remember everything though, so sorry about that this is not a sushi place that i frequent but i just went here because it was just a really last minute thing and it was close by so that was toro and then i had some sashimi so it was really good and then that was wrapped in soy paper i think that was crispy rice or something like that tempura was also one of the dishes for the omakase after the tempura i did have a few more dishes left which ended up being really overwhelming because it was just so much food but that was rice with sushi inside and then this one was actually really good i don't remember what it was and then for dessert they did give me mochi which was super yum and then i also did go to the gym afterwards just because i feel like i ate a lot i mean it wasn't a ton of food and i didn't finish everything actually but i just felt like i had to go work out The next day, I went to Osteria Labuco, which is in Larkmont in LA. And this place was so yum, you guys. Like, they put a yolk on the Brussels sprouts, which was super good. And they added, like, this little sauce on it, which was amazing. And then they also had croquettes here, so we did get those, and those were really good. Ricotta, ricotta with honey. Oh my god, it was so good. And then this was not the cacio de pepe but i forgot what the other pasta was but it was really good i'm heading out to dinner and i'm super excited because i'm gonna go to a french restaurant that i actually really love um this is my outfit super simple i'm pretty tired right now um i have a meeting really early tomorrow so I'm gonna make this quick <laughs> this was la petite paris i came here with my girlfriends before and i did show you guys that i believe this was a long time ago though so we got the burrato with tomatoes but i don't eat tomatoes this was the french onion soup i thought it was a little bit salty this was the bone marrow oh my god so delicious you guys have to get that and there was so much fat on the bones so i did really like it this was overcooked steak which was not good that was not my meal i had the beef bouillon and i actually really loved it they used to put like four pieces but i think they kind of scaled back because of supplies this was a chocolate lava cake for dessert and it was a vanilla bean ice cream which was really delicious um i really liked it probably one of my favorite meals because i enjoyed everything that i got and then just a glass of wine to end the night my bestie and i decided to come to blue jam because she was getting her windows tinted so this is a spiced chai latte we also got the french toast and some eggs benedict usually they put more like potatoes more potato <laughs> it's okay baby girl it's okay, baby girl. <laughs> it's okay no one has to know baby girl the next day she invited me to go to joey's in downtown la so i went and this is the poke bowl which was so delicious i was craving poke again this was a ceviche like a salmon ceviche which was really good the hummus you guys have to get the hummus it's delicious and i love it so much this was the this was a white fish, I believe. And then they had some Christmas decorations up, which was so cute. The next day we went to catch and this was my outfit. I posted a photo on Instagram if you guys want to check that out. So I got an Aperol spritz, which I usually don't get because I don't like Prosecco actually. <laughs> this was the spicy tuna on crispy rice. Delicious. Some sashimi with caviar, I believe. And then we also got the catch roll, which I really love because it has salmon on it and they just kind of scorch it a little bit, which was delicious. I think that's probably one of my favorite rolls, to be honest. And then we also got some steak, which for lunch, I feel like that was kind of heavy, but it was still good. And then the macadamia pancakes, which were delicious. Like this was really good. This is like a really nice, sweet, like guilty pleasure meal. And that was my outfit. I just wore Converse with the fit. 
The next day I had a lot of work and I actually decided to stay in. So I had sweet green for lunch and the delivery is super fast. So I really like it. And then I also had some panini grill kebabs and this one was really good. I do get a meal stipend if I work after 8 p.m. So that was what I did today on this day. Then we went to Pasadena to the True Food. We decided to try this out because I think we thought it was vegan or she thought it was vegan, but we still liked it. This was the butternut squash soup, I believe, and I really liked it. We also got some lattes, the hummus, and I really like the veggies on top. I love cucumbers. She got a turkey burger with some sweet potatoes on the side, which looked delicious, to be honest. And then I got the lasagna, which was seasonal, so I wanted to try it, but honestly, you guys, I did not like it. It was really salty and just not my thing. We went to Lottery, Lottery in Beverly Hills. I got the French toast. And this place is actually vegan, like this location, so I would recommend to go to a different location. But she got the Eggs Benedict and she wasn't a huge fan of it, but my French toast was so good because it's just bread. Like, I don't know how you can make French toast vegan, but I think there was like an egg substitute. I got invited to Imari in Brentwood for dinner, so I brought a date here and we had a few of their dishes. We did have omakase here, which is what they suggested, so that's what we did. And this is what the menu looks like. They also poured some sake and I do wish we would have gotten like the wagyu or some gyozas, which were some of their popular dishes, but we opted just to stay in the suggestions. This was a salad with little fried sardines which i actually really loved i love the flavor of it and it also had daikon this is amberjack and that was really delicious and fresh and they don't add any seasonings or anything so they kind of already season it if they feel like it needs something these were some veggies and eel tempura and i really love the sauce that went with it this is the big eye roll and I wasn't a huge fan of this one. I think it tasted a little too fishy for my preference. And the uni was delicious, really creamy. And uni is so good. I just recently started getting into that when I started going to New York more often. This is the soft shell crab roll, I believe. Or I don't know if it's just soft shell crab, I just know it's a crab roll. And this was their dessert. And I was actually still hungry and I wanted Wagyu. So we ended up going to Wally's and we got a bottle of wine and had some Wagyu steak there, which was delicious. Next, I went to Bourbon Steakhouse with my bestie and her man and we had some dinner. We ended up going to LA Zoo Lights afterwards as well and she did invite me. I did not invite myself, so someone in the comments. <laughs> but the food was delicious. I actually didn't try that. I had a pretty big steak. This was like an eight ounce, so. It was delicious, the wine was yummy, company was great. Um, I love her so much and she's like my favorite person. And the mashed potatoes here are so good. I really liked it. The next day, this was not exactly, they're not exactly in chronological order, but I just wanted to show you guys like kind of clips here and there. And then I took my bestie to K Barbecue. This is her favorite spot and she just got her real estate license. So I thought, why not go and celebrate? So this is where we came to. The food was delicious. The side dishes were pretty good. We also got cheese corn. I like the cheese corn from Big Chung better, but this is her favorite spot. So I wanted her to be able to enjoy it. Um, but yeah, really delicious. Look at her shirt. It's like a friend's shirt, which is so funny. <laughs> Um, I'm heading out to dinner, so I thought I would just show you guys my outfit. Um, I'm wearing this blazer from Princess Polly, just a turtleneck. My pants are from Aritzia, and then my shoes are Converse. And this is the outfit. Super casual. Um, I'm just going to Bianca's because I miss them. So, yeah, that's all. <laughs> like I said, I did come to Bianca's, and here I'm trying to figure out how the TikTok aesthetic, how like they always are filming their food. But we got the focaccia, which is so yummy. They do bake it to order so this was really fresh and really delicious so warm and then also the burrata with eggplant and i believe it had mushrooms i don't eat olives but it did come with olives and this was really good i think it also had onions and it was like a ratatouille actually burrata ratatouille i of course got my rigatoni the rigatoni is so bomb but i think i like it better with the spaghetti and he got the asabuco which is really good but i feel like they make it different than Madeo, but this is Madeo's restaurant like 
but Bianca's, it's the mom's restaurant. We also got a tiramisu, which was so yum, and he actually took a bite out of it, which I was like, what are you doing? Because I told him that I had to vlog it first. He did get an espresso, and then I also got a cappuccino as well, just to finish off the night. This is like my favorite thing to do at Medeo's, but like I said, this is Bianca's, not Medeo. On this night, I had dinner at Sparrow, which is located in Hotel Figueroa in downtown LA, and this place was actually really good. I do want to note though, I did mention on Instagram stories that my date actually ate out of my plate and then like cut the noodles and put them back in my plate. Like he cut it with his teeth and it was so disgusting. I lost my appetite after my appetizers and we did share the appetizers, but you guys know me, I don't like sharing my entrees. I don't like sharing literally anything like honestly i don't know it's just so annoying to me but especially if you're going on a first date like why are we sharing food on the first date like do you have covid i don't know so anyway i got one bite out of this food and he was like here here film mine film mine so he took my plate and then like took a bite out of it which was so irritating but anyway I didn't eat my entree, but I did eat the olive oil cake, which was so yum, and I did really like it. It was passion fruit on the outside, like passion fruit jam, which I did not like. And then after that, I took my bestie out to dinner for her birthday. We went to Cicada Club, and this place was actually really good. Actually, no, I take that back. This, it, I didn't really like it, but it was the vibes, okay? It was the vibe. So I told her to say hi because... She doesn't want to be on camera, so I went ahead and just filmed her hand. And they did have a prefix menu, which was 70, 79, I believe, per person. And the scallop was amazing. I wish I had another one for like my entree, but I didn't really like my entree. We got some drinks. I thought it was a little bit too sugary, but this is all about like old Hollywood theme, I feel like. So I get it. I get the vibes, but I did not really like I got the short rib and it was like supposedly cooked for hours and hours this was our dessert we each got to choose one which i liked i got berries and it was pretty good and that's all for the video i really hope that you guys enjoyed this food tour and let me know what you guys would like to see next on my channel bye